Well, young children are a step closer to getting the Pfizer vaccine. An FDA advisory committee voted late this afternoon in favor of granting emergency use authorization. Eyewitness News health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now with those details. Steph? Well, Yuki, now the full FDA has to weigh in along with the CDC that is meeting next week. Today's vote was just a recommendation. The FDA advisory panel voted to recommend the Pfizer vaccine for younger children, deciding that the benefits outweigh possible side effects, including myocarditis, a rare heart condition. Dr. Paul Offit from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia is on the FDA advisory committee. We would only do it if we would give it to our own children. Pfizer says its pediatric vaccine is 90% effective at preventing severe complications from COVID. It's a third of the standard dose, two shots, three weeks apart. Even as we face the cold weather and other concerns, Concerns about whether we might see another surge. We don't want that, and this would be one significant step forward. About 28 million children ages 5 to 11 would be eligible for the Pfizer vaccine that could be available as early as next week if it's authorized by the CDC. FDA officials say a pediatric vaccine is needed with almost 2 million youngsters having been infected with COVID, about 9% of all cases. And there have also been close to 100 deaths making it one of the top 10 causes of death in this age range during this time. Fifth grader Jaron Monroe was one of the 4,500 children who tested the Pfizer vaccine. I will make it a lot safer for me to go outside and play all the sports that I play and have fun with my friends and family. Now, if the Pfizer vaccine is authorized by the CDC next week, shots would be available in a variety of locations, including doctors' offices and some schools. Jessica? All right, Stephanie, thank you. If you need a vaccine, head over to our website. There's a full guide at cbsphilly.com slash COVID vaccine.